guys! Oh my gosh, I'm finally back on my YouTube channel. I've risen from the dead, basically. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for coming back and supporting my channel. I'm back for the month of December and probably onward because life is getting a little less hectic. But I definitely wanted to start up my YouTube channel starting now because we are getting into the holiday season and the holidays are probably one of my favorite parts of the year. Can't wait for everything that I have in store. I thought today I would just do a fun holiday look and um, one that hopefully you guys can recreate at home using whatever you have. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me today. And then next week I will dive into my holiday gift guide. So definitely be back next Friday as well at noon to see that. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and definitely like this video if you do enjoy it. It does really help me out. Ring the bell to be notified every time that I post a new video. Let's do some makeup. Today we're gonna to start with the eyes. I think I'm gonna do a kind of reddish berry look today, a very Christmassy, warm, smoky kind of look on the eyes. I'm gonna use a couple different palettes, but I wanted to show you guys some good options for what we're going for. So this is my new obsession. This is the At Forest Sight palette, the Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop collab. Let's just take a moment. This is such an iconic, beautiful palette. It's sold out within minutes. <laughs> I know because I was on the site and I tried to get the entire collection and I couldn't. Um, but I'm so glad I have this. I feel like it really does add to my collection. I might dip into the Jackie Ina um, Anastasia Beverly Hills collab. I love Jackie so much and I love this palette. So these are some good palettes to work with. I might work a little bit with this, this Kylie palette. It's her Sailor collection. This is from this summer. Some of these colors would be a good option. Honestly, if you have anything that has like these berry tones in it, um, any like kind of red glitter would be good as well. Um, this is the, ooh, this is the Kathleen Light So Jaded palette. Also the Frozen 2, the Elsa palette. Such a good palette for this look. Whatever you have to create this look, go for it. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of tape on the corners of my eyes. It honestly prevents things from getting really messy and prevents you from having to go in later and clean everything up. I just got my hands on this eyeshadow primer. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. I normally just use concealer. So if you guys do not have an eyeshadow primer at your home, then definitely just go in with the concealer that you use for under your eyes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a halo eye today. Really wanna try this red. This is the shade Total Catch, so cute. I'm just gonna go in with that shade Total Catch and this is a Sigma E38. It's one of my favorite blending brushes and I'm just gonna tap in here, coat the brush. There's always a lot of fallout in Kylie's um, shades. So I'm just putting that all in the crease, which kind of looks a little scary, don't be alarmed. Wow, this is um, looking scary, guys, but it's gonna be okay. Just trying to really buff that out as much as I can. I'm gonna make sure I'm getting this whole area. I'm even going in a little bit on the corner right here. Now I'm gonna take a just a clean buffing brush. This is just a Sonia Kashuk brush. It has nothing on it. And I'm just gonna go in and just kind of fluff that out. I'm just gonna take a, a little bit more of that shade and just put it on the inner corner. Cause again, we're doing a halo eye. So I just wanna make sure that we're putting all the color in the right places. Trust the process. We are gonna dip into the At Four Sight palette and I think I'm gonna go into Homegrown. It is kind of a deep purple. Just add that to the outer edges. There's literally no fallout in this palette. I love it. It's so well made. I love supporting YouTubers and their collabs. I'm a big um, advocate for that, for supporting the people that have taught me. Just in this video alone, I mentioned three um, YouTubers collabs. So I'm just packing that on the outer edge and then I'm bringing it around a little bit, putting a little bit of that color in the inner corner. We're gonna take a little bit more of that um, eyeshadow primer, just in the center. Kind of like what you would do or whatever you would use if you were doing a cut crease. Okay, now we're gonna go into Jackie's palette. This shade Wigglies, which I've never used. I love all the names in this palette. So I'm just gonna put this in the center. Okay, 
Ooh, I like that. I feel like a Christmas present. <laughs> back into the at forest site palette back into the shade homegrown again this is just like a dark purple shade um i probably have one of those in 90 percent of my palette so don't think that you have to use this palette specifically if you don't have it you can always make things work without having the exact palette that i'm using i'm just going to use the mirror from the jackie palette and i'm just kind of making sure that everything's blended and putting that on the outer corner again and in the inner corner. I wanna put something just a little bit lighter on top of that um, red shade that we did. So I think I'm gonna go back into Jackie's palette and there's a lot of gorgeous shimmer shades in this palette. I think Anastasia Beverly Hills has some of the best out of shadow formulas, um, but especially this palette, I think that Jackie did such a good job. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into the shade Trust Issues, which is this gorgeous white shade. And I'm just gonna put that right on top of that red shade just to add a little bit of dimension and spunk. I think that you could recreate this look basically entirely with this um, Elsa palette from ColourPop because you have the whites, you have mauves that you can work with to recreate what I did as my transition shades. So now I'm gonna remove the tape. I'm just gonna smoke that out just a little bit. So this is where we're at so far, and I am obsessed <laughs> with this eye look. It's kind of a little extra, really extra, and I think it's time we get started on the face. We're gonna do a little bit of a combination from The Ordinary. I'm gonna start with their High Spreadability Fluid Primer. So I'm just gonna put a good amount of that in my hand. Never put it directly on your face because that just causes there to be a lot of germs on the dropper, and I just go in, my hands have makeup on it. Please excuse that. <laughs> But I just go in and I put this everywhere. It almost feels like a silicone -y primer. I've definitely talked about this before on my channel. It's also not at the same time. Um, it doesn't dry out my skin, but it also has a lot of um, great pore filling properties, which I love. I'm gonna go in with my high coverage coverage foundation from The Ordinary. I love this foundation. This is what I've been wearing almost all the time. When I'm doing something a little bit more natural or I don't want something as full coverage, I will go in with their serum foundation. This is a more white, lightweight formula. We have a pretty dramatic eye today and I think that calls for a pretty full coverage foundation. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm using my uh, makeup eraser sponge. This is one of the best sponges ever. You don't need so much this foundation and I always use way too much. Like I probably just did. So to give a little backstory on where I've been, I realized very early on in my semester at school, for everyone who doesn't know, I am a senior in college. Um, so I am finishing up my first semester. Mine was not completely virtual. I was still going into classes. Um, it was kind of a 50-50, but it was a very stressful semester and I noticed that very early on. And filming was just, unfortunately, something that I had to cut out to keep my sanity. I was finishing my term as chapter president of my sorority. So my semester was very, very hectic. And I knew that going in, it was might be very hard to keep up with my YouTube channel. I don't want you guys to think that I came into this and was like, oh, let's just do it for a couple months. Like that was never my intention. Um, I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel of my own. I love YouTube. I think that it's a wonderful platform for anyone to grow as an individual, but also to express their passion. Honestly, it's been very healthy for me and it was really hard for me to cut that out because I did really like having this opportunity to express myself and for it to be something that was more creative for me and not necessarily focused on my academics or anything else, which is what I feel like I'm known for 90% of my life. I definitely really, really missed it. So I've been really into the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It has a more of a satin finish. They do have their normal camo concealer, but again, dry skin girl, the hydrating situation is a lot better for me. For anyone who's curious, I'm using the shade Fair Beige. I love how I look when I put on my concealer. I'm gonna really snatch that edge. I've also been putting a little bit right here. Just give my lips some more lifted effect. I am gonna blend this out with a brush, but I'm gonna let it sit for a second. This is a great trick if you just want it to get a little bit more tacky, a little bit more full coverage. This is already a pretty full coverage concealer, So 
So I'm just kind of buffing it out a little bit. This is a real Techniques, um, I think it's an eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna take my sponge and just pat that out. I'm so excited to hear what you guys are asking for for Christmas. Makeup related, lifestyle related, skincare related. Like I said, I will be doing a holiday gift guide next week on my channel. Things that could be gifts that you guys would be interested in asking for, but also, you know, anything that'd be perfect to give someone who is a makeup lover, a beauty lover, someone maybe who's even trying to get super into makeup. I had to I had to restart my fire because it was dwindling down a little bit. I've been really getting back into this. This is their Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I use the shade Pound Cake. Shake a little of that into the top and I'm just going to set this. I'm not really gonna bake, but I am gonna put a decent layer on. I don't really like baking because I have such dry skin. I also am going to set pretty much everywhere that we use concealer. So I'm gonna go on the chin and I'm going to now go along the forehead. I do have a very creasy forehead and I don't appreciate it. I'm now gonna go in with the Halo Glow setting powder from e.l.f. I've been obsessed with this. This is in the shade medium. I'm just gonna take this on a powder brush. I have some in my lid. It's gonna set the face, but it's not gonna leave your face completely matte. It is gonna give you just a little bit of a subtle glow. And that is my favorite kind of look. So I find that this has worked really well when wearing masks um, because it's still, you know, my face is still set. So nothing's really moving around, but I don't look super flat. Um, I still think that it gives a little bit of a glow, a nice sheen to the skin. I love when you just find products that you can trust. I'm just gonna fluff up my brows, see where we're at with those. I am gonna take my Anastasia brow pen. This is very similar to the Glossier brow flick. I honestly think they work just the same. I just like to fill in a little bit, get the sparser edges, but my brows are pretty full in general. I'm gonna go in with this. This is from Rodan and Fields and it's their Brow Defining Boost. Say what you want about the brand. They've saved my skin. And this brow stuff is so good. It helps your brows grow. So if you have very sparse brows, this is a really great product for you. I find that mine have gotten so bushy, I've had to trim them back. I use the shade Dark. I'll just kind of toss it on my brows every day, even if I'm not wearing makeup, just to give the effect that they're nice and full. I'm gonna bronze up the face. I'm just gonna use my Milani um, Silky Matte Bronzer. Literally my favorite bronzer of 2020, hands down. So I'm starting with the forehead and I'm using a pretty fluffy brush. I, I've liked using this recently. Um, and I bring it down to the temples and up to the hairline. Then I kind of just go around the perimeters of my face and of course kind of define the cheek area. And then we're gonna go into the jawline, bring it down the neck a little bit. For blush, I just got these from Alamar Cosmetics. I was waiting for them to re-release their blushes. I have their bronzer trio. So this is the trio in Dark Rich. I absolutely love these shades. I think they all have a shimmer to them or kind of sheen or some of them do at least. This is the medium tan one. I honestly like a little bit of a shimmery blush personally, so that doesn't bother me. And then this is the light one. I feel like the shades are all pretty wearable for my skin tone. The dark ones may be pushing it. You know what? We're gonna be bold today. We're gonna go in with Twin Flame. It's this middle shade. We're gonna start back here and bring it forward. I want to give a more lifted effect Okay, this is beautiful on the skin. And I think just a little bit on the apples, I'm gonna go in with Diosa, I think is how you pronounce it. But it's a little bit pinkier. Oh, just a light. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna take that a little bit on the nose. These are fantastic. I think anything from Alamar Cosmetics is really awesome. If you can get your hands on them, I highly recommend them. Perfect gift. They will definitely be in my gift guide next week. I know they were having a Black Friday sale that may be still going on if this um, when this video is up. I forgot to contour my nose, so let me just do that really fast. Now, highlighter. In the spirit of that um, beautiful shade we used from Jackie's palette, that wider shade, I am gonna go in with the Cookie Highlight from Benefit. This is such a gorgeous highlight. Hands down, one of my favorite purchases of 2020. It never fails. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of setting spray. I know we still gotta do the under eyes, but 
I just want to get things kind of locked in a little bit. I'm just going to take my sponge on a clean side and press everything in. I like to do this when I have my base done, just so it gives time to process, especially if, you know, I'm getting ready to go out the door and I'm going to put a mask on almost right away. Let me just get those palettes that we were working with before so we can finish off this eye look and finish off the look all together. I'm gonna start with this uh, Japanese. This is like a smudging brush. I think I just got this at TJ Maxx. I really like it because it's perfect for the under eye, just to get very up close and personal with your lower lashes. So I'm gonna take that total cat shade and just coat the brush, top off the excess, and just go in right under the lashes. So I buffed that out just a little bit on the edge. I just took a little bit of shadow. It's still a little bit harsh. I don't mind it. My biggest thing was I wanted to make sure it connected really beautifully. I'm gonna take that fluffy brush that I was using and just kind of smoke it all out. I'm gonna go back into Homegrown from this palette and just darken up the outer edge of this. Now I'm going to go in to the Jackie palette. Sorry we're using so many palettes today. I got a little palette crazy. I'm gonna go back into Wigglies, going over the entire bottom lash line, just to darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna go into Trust Issues, and I'm going to just put that right in the center on a different brush. And I'm gonna put this in my inner corner just to give a good highlight in the inner corner. So I'm gonna use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, one of their eyeliner duos. So um, I'm gonna use this side. I think it'll look really good with that combination we have on the lid. And so this is in the shade Copper Charge. I don't know if they sell this on its own, but I'm just going to do my waterline. Now to finish out this look, I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs at Lash Mascara. This is such a good mascara. All right, so the eyes are done and the last thing we need to do to finish this look is something on the lips. So I'm gonna start off by lining my lips. This is just an e.l.f. liner from the Retro Paradise collection. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Such a staple in my makeup collection. Just the perfect nude. I'm just gonna go in with this um, Luxe Gloss from Robbie Beauty Christie's um, collab with ColourPop. This is in the shade Glacier. This is gorgeous. I'm just gonna put this right on the center. All right, guys, so this is the final look for today. I'm obsessed with how this eye look turned out. Um, it's so Christmassy, it's so holiday. I would probably never wear this like during any time other than the holidays, but I feel like that's one of my favorite things about the holidays. You can do a lot more, you know, berries, reds, greens, um, and I can't wait to show you guys more looks like this one, um, some more natural looks using those colors, that kind of stuff throughout the month. I'm definitely gonna be posting a lot more, of course, on this channel, but be sure to also follow my Instagram. It's at all things Kate. I will leave it down below. Again, you can recreate this with so many different palettes and the ones that I showed you are just a couple of the things I think that you can use to try to recreate this look or make your own variation of it. Definitely, if you do recreate it, tag me, tag my Instagram. I would love to see what you guys come up with. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and that you are enjoying the holiday season just as much as I am. And I'll see you guys next week. So, bye!